want complete control but still be able to design an album, full wall art collections, and a card in under three minutes, this tutorial is going to show you how to do that, how to use the advanced controls in the brand new design wizard in Fundy Designer version 11. After importing your photos, you'll be prompted to apply auto skin retouching. There are a number of preset options. We highly recommend starting with the intelligent retouch. And in one second, you can retouch hundreds of photos, but then you have complete control to go back and adjust or even remove that retouching. With this click, all of the photos have been retouched. I'm going to exit out of the design wizard and let's go ahead and open one of the photos to show you the control that we have. So here you can see the skin has been softened. If we open the photos in this grid view and to get to the grid view, you can click this icon or just double click on any photo in the film strip. Here we can click on the edit tab and we can increase skin retouching, decrease. In addition, we can go in and enhance the eyes. This will brighten the eyes, make them pop eye circle removal for that under eyes, circle removal, and exposure correction. This doesn't actually lighten your photo, it just enhances the exposure. So you can turn that up and down. And let's say you wanna remove that. We can remove that from one photo, select all, and then click sync, and it will sync that correction to all of the photos. In addition, at any time you can also just clear and remove any skin retouching and other enhancements. And that is how you use the advanced controls of the skin retouching in version 11 of Fundy Designer. Next, we'll hop into the album design. Now let's dive into the advanced settings in the design wizard. Under each section, there is an advanced options. For albums, here you can choose to replace an album or create a new album if you have a project with an album already in it. You can choose your sizes and album companies. You'll see recent labs you've chosen right here up at the top. So if you always use the same labs, you'll find them right here at the top. We have our direct order labs right here and then a full list of labs uh, here. There's over 150 labs. Easily, quickly scroll through and find your favorite lab. And when you choose a lab, you'll, you'll find all of the books that we support. In addition, the size of the album and the uh, type of cover if we support those cover templates. Now, if you don't find your cover template, simply click on this link and download the cover templates from your lab. Maybe just store those in a folder so you have those accessible all the time because you'll probably reuse the same ones over and over. They need to be saved as a JPEG and then we'll just load that template in there for you. Next is the design style. Choose album for just that auto magic design for your classic uh, wedding or portrait album. You can go into signing books and then you can find family albums, magazine styles, etc. And always remember for more styles, just go up to the design library and click download album styles. So let's let these previews show up, but we see, you can see there are family albums, all sorts of great albums in here. And next, uh, you can choose which images you want to use, five stars, four stars, etc. And I'll go into this more later and then the image order by capture date or file name or any custom order. Remember, when you are in the image browser, you can change the orders of the images by just dragging them around. And then here we have the number of pages to design, minimum images and maximum images per spread. You can clear that and then it will just figure it out for you if you would like. So let's go ahead and close this. I'm gonna show you some magic things. So I'm gonna close this, double click on any image to bring it into this browser. You'll notice that I have a mix of five stars and four stars. I'm gonna use the four stars for wall art, but I'm also going to use the four stars in the album and I'll show you how to filter to everything. Next, let's go ahead and choose our cover photo. I'd like this to be the cover photo, so I'm gonna click on cover photo or I can use the C key, C for cover. And then I want to make sure that some of these images, uh, let's say I want to take 
these two images and I want to have them on the same spread as this. Well, obviously with this timeline, that won't happen, but I can group these photos together to override that natural timeline from the timestamp in your camera. And then in addition, we can say, let's say we want uh, this photo right here to be a panorama. I can click panorama or use the P key. So those are the advanced sections of the how to lay out your album. Now I'm going to go right here. I'm going to filter to both the four and the five star. Next, let's go to that design wizard and advanced options. So let's go ahead and re-choose uh, this album. Let's do uh, Miller's album, signature thick pages. Let's do a 10 by 10, and then let's go ahead and do a metal cover. So here we go. So for the available images, I'm going to do an entire collection, or I could choose filtered images if I wanted to only include, say, four and five stars, which I've filtered to, and let's leave that in place. Next, let's go to the wall art. So I'm going to choose generic standard, which means just inches. It'll work for any lab. Let's choose gallery wraps. For layout, let's choose designs that sell. And for available images, let's use only the four stars. And I know with those four stars, I only want to choose, uh, I, I only want them to use the four stars. So this number of rooms design and total images, I can no longer edit that because I've already said I only want to use these images and it'll figure it out. Next, let's do a card. I'm going to choose a five by seven card. I want to do a horizontal card with a top fold. And for design style, let's do thank you card. Uh, let's do this thank you card right here. So I'm ready to go. And now everything is ready. Let's go ahead and click design this project. And there we go. So you notice that this is panorama. Here we have that cover photo and we can move anything around. Like, let's say, let's go ahead and take this photo and pop it right there. Uh, that's going to look nicer. And then let's go ahead and shuffle this design. There we go. So obviously once the design is done, you can make any changes, right? We can play with this drop zone here and snap it. So it lines up right there. So the auto design is that base to get you where you need. Next, let's go check out the wall art. And here's the wall art. So it used those images and it created multiple options for me. Now, uh, obviously you'll want to maybe swap out that bedroom photo. Remember that in the design library, we have a ton of stock rooms for you to download also. So you can download some of the new stock rooms are beautiful. And let's go ahead and check out the card. And there we go. And remember, you can swap out this photo at any time in the card also. So let's swap that out. Um, you can change the design. Maybe you decide, hey, I didn't like that design like I thought I would. Under the design library, there's a ton of card designs also. I think there's like 20, 25 thank you card designs for you to choose from. So those are the advanced options. Remember, the design wizard, you can pop open at any time. Go into those advanced options and you can tab through all of the different sections. And remember, at any time you can close that window and then go back, tag your photos, etc., and pop that design window back open with the design wizard and make your choices. Version 11 is gonna change how much you design because it's so easy to design more and then present more to your clients so they invest more into their albums, wall art, and cards. Mm -hmm.